<laughs> what to do, baby? I'm Owie. He's Leo. And today we'll be watching Megalobox episode six right off of that end cliffhanger from episode five. <laughs> okay, so all I right. hope that you six. all enjoy it and like and subscribe if you wanna. And let's get in. It was a lie. This is actually Kramer episode six. <laughs> <laughs> That would trigger me to my core if that was the case. <laughs> <laughs> you have been finessed. You can finesse a finesse. Uh -huh. For a hearing a thing, a thing. Oh, wait, there he is. One of the older kids. One of the kids. Oh, He's the oh. one with the restaurant now, right? I think you're right. I think you're right. Is that like a delivery delivery bike? I think so. You fail. <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Yeah, number one in taste and, and price. price. <laughs> I like that. I like that. You know what that means? MSG. <laughs> Hell yeah. Gotta love Mono those whole the wild delicious. places. <laughs> it's funny because it's not usually just Chinese cuisine. It's typically like all the hole in the wall places. <laughs> Most likely have MSG. <laughs> After all the context that we get in the last episode, I wonder what more we're going to see. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. You know what? Good what choice. Is... Good choice. <laughs> but not only that, I'm curious about how he's going to rebuild the bonds with the kids he ended up leaving behind. How he's yeah. going to repair the relationships. Amends? How do you make amends like that when you abandon them? Yeah. Five years. The fact that it's a five-year time skip, I will never get over it. And also, Loki, where's that Cleo dude, wrong. by the way? You know, the boxer that he went against during the first season? I want to know where he's at. Yeah. I'm just happy they didn't all die from a from like <laughs> from a natural disaster like I theorized before. Same. It was only just Grandpa. Or sorry, coach. Wait, that's the one who's a reporter for Megalobox now, right? This one. Yeah, him. Exactly. Punch him. <laughs> Someone punch him. More pedophiles? Gosh, dang. Square up.
him. Slammed that right across his head. Hit it. Hit it. Oh. Okay, that gave me satisfaction. However, now that I think about it, that might have been dumb. Yeah. It's just... This is... I remember him being bold when he was younger, but man, now he's Usually just... Usually it was just barking, but now he actually has actions to his... Yeah. Thing. With all that Yu-Gi-Oh! emo hair shit, like... It's, it's jarring. Not a phase, not a phase. Oh. Oh, and she's learning how to repair stuff too now. This episode is going to be on how the kids are a bit. Much needed, especially for us. Yes. <laughs> Because I was truly scared before we got to the fifth episode and figured out a bit more of the context. He's calling himself out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the easy way out by smoking, but you know what? It feels good right now, so I'm just taking it. <laughs> like, you know, lung cancer can get me later. We'll worry about that another day. But in the short term, this feels good. <laughs> Ooh, flashback. Oh, okay. So it wasn't him losing the match that was the bad thing. It was the fact that he ran away from... And then just left. And started taking drugs. And now to... Satchio is doing just what he was doing in the past. So it's like a freaking cycle. Oh, God, no! And he's also working for what it seems like a very shady group. Yeah. And so he might end up being in those bindings too. He somehow seems to kind of miss him, or at least old days anyway. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> I low-key wouldn't even know what to do if I was in Joe's position. Me neither. Maybe just be there for the kids, which, you know, uh, it's tough. <laughs> hey, at least he's not running away anymore. At least he's going to try. Oh, no. Repercussions for that for Sachio's actions. No. Don't mess up the restaurant. Don't do it. Uh-oh. Oh, they beat him up. Oh, wow. Fuck. No! Get all of that.
being angry. This is for the sake of your friend's store. Yeah, sadly, he does understand. Yeah. He does understand. Oh, so he does have to win, and he's been on a losing streak this whole time. You gotta go against that motherfucker, okay. <laughs> what? Oh, no. What the frick? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, that's about right. Because he isn't the same doesn't mean you can't help him. I was wrong. It's pretty much the same thing. It's just... Instead of it being for a selfish reason, it's more of a... More of him, like we said, he's trying to take back responsibility again from what Is he Joe left Is gonna behind. fight this freak? He fucking better! He chooses to fight her, Sacho. You don't want to die. Bite your lip, kid. Are we going to get gearless, Joe? <laughs> Imagine if we get gearless, Joe. Nah, I don't think he's going to be able to pull that off. <laughs> Not like before. Let's see. We're going to get Joe with Chief's like, gear. Is this we're going to get Joe with Chief's gear. That's oh. what we're going to get. You're right, he has Chief's gear! <laughs> oh god, you should see my face right now. Joe. Wait, no gears. No gear. No Holy gears. Holy crap! It's gearless, Joe. With the balls. No way. This is bad. This is bad. Oh no. Sorry. <laughs> I think you were right. He might die during the match. Joe, you stubborn Egypt. It's so ironic that he's fighting to keep them together, but he's... The reason, the fact that he's fighting is actually splitting them apart even further. That's so rough. Wait, she's staying? Wait, she never got a chance to say goodbye? Here's Joe. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Still on his feet. Wow, he's the he's the universal favorite. What the heck? I guess he is the champion, but yeah. still. I'm so Yes, congratulations. You're a guy with robot hands fighting a guy with normal arms. You feel better about yourself, Trapezoid? <laughs> Are you okay? I feel so bad for Sachigo now. Hmm. Oh, gosh. <sighs> <sighs> Ooh. Survived the first round barely. God. That's even more so now, huh? The stamina is even lower than it before. Right. And he got the skill, it just does not have the stamina. Oh, he's counting the time. So I just want to say, I appreciate, like, seamlessly putting the past and the present together like that. Yeah, that was a clean, that was, they're clean transitions. Oh, yeah. And we, and they made it so that we know, obviously, which part's which. Oh, that's when his vision started, huh? His visions of his coach started there. I think that's when he realized loss. that his coach is gone. He already died. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> Joe. Just give just sit down. Joe, you lost fair and square, See? dude. Stop. Stop, dude. Go to the hospital. So that's what happened. Still a loss. Oof. Oh, that. When I shut up, you know it's good. <laughs> Tell him what he got his ass whooped. No. They probably made so much money he gave the deed anyway. Because you know how everyone betted for Joe? Oh, yeah. Lost? They probably made so much damn money. The underground did. Wait a second. So, he lost on purpose? That's insane. Again.
he's not expecting that at all. <laughs> he's accepting the burden. He, he followed your wishes. And that's true, too. I got a lot to try to fix, <laughs> or at least try to get to a general understanding. <laughs> Gonna take one kid at a time. <laughs> oh yeah. You just gotta, you gotta work it out one kid at a time. And not only Seems that, like, uh, the restaurant owner is the first one. Again. Seems like the first owner is the one, the first guy that might change his heart. Yeah. A little bit. There's a sign. You always been like. That character always been very compassionate, if you think about it. Mostly last season. Mm. I'm assuming Sachio is probably going to be the last one to convince. Oh, definitely. He's the one that literally just discarded him <laughs> after the fight. Yeah. Bon Bonji, though, is most likely going to try to help. I'm not sure how Santa's going to be about it in Ochoi. Now that I know that she was there during the fight, the whole fight, I think she has complicated feelings too. So Sachiko and her is going to be very hard to understand, I guess. Mm -hmm. Maybe the newspaper guy, the newspaper kid might just need a good story. Yeah, he might need, <laughs> to be honest. He might need a good <laughs> story. Santa is his name. <laughs> He just might need a good story, and he might take in Joe. <laughs> yeah, I just ah, uh, every single time I watch this show, I'm always kind of left speechless because I just want to, I just want to know what's gonna happen next. Don't you think it's messed up though that he learned the kid literally abandoned Joe after he lost his fight in yeah. the graveyard? Yeah, do you think it's a little bit fucked? Just a little bit fucked. It is. I feel like it was out of ang anger, and he kind of didn't mean it. But here's the thing: he's Joe always, <laughs> yeah, but he always been an orphan, Sachio. So, yeah, Sachio's always been saying some crazy stuff anyway from the beginning. Yeah, I just don't think he knows how to deal with grief well. He never really dealt with his parents' situation that well either. Remember, he used to keep a picture of them in his hat. He's also at the age where it's super emotional. So oh, yeah. And out of all of them, he's the one that's pretty much... Most outspoken. Like, he seems like the foil to Joe. Because he's becoming what Joel was like, Joe was like when he was younger. Going into oh, yeah. to Megaloboxing. Um, trying to get money by winning fights instead of, like, throwing fights. He doesn't even win. Yeah. He's not making money either. Hell. So. He's not even doing like mechanics anymore, it seems like. It seems like the other girl is doing it. Ocho. Yeah. But yes, episode six. Six of Michael Fox. <laughs> I can't wait till the next episode. This week is going to be I'm so off. slow. Uh. Bye bye. Bye.